guys, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to teach mom how to import photos from a camera or from any other device or from a folder into the Photos app on your Mac so that you can make a slideshow with those. This is in response to a question from one of my subscribers on YouTube. So thank you for the questions. Add any more questions you have and I'll either point you at another video or I'll make another video if I don't have a good one already done for your question. So let's jump right into it and let's learn how to import photos into your Photos app so that you can edit them and make a slideshow or whatever you want to do with them. But let's get them in there. Let's get started now. All right, step one for importing your pictures into the Photos app on your Mac is to open photos. Should be a no-brainer. Once you've opened the Photos app, you want to then click on File, Import. Now you're going to navigate to the folder that holds your photos. This might be a camera, this might be a CD, this might be a folder you downloaded from somewhere, whatever it is. In my case, it's a folder on my external hard drive. You navigate to that folder, choose the folder you want, and you can either select all the pictures or you can select a couple pictures. Okay. So you can select all the pictures just by clicking and dragging all the way down. That will select all of them or select up to whatever point. Or another trick for selecting multiple photos, you can click on the first one, scroll to the last one that you want, hold shift and click and it will select them all. But that will select everything if there's specific ones you want to select, you hold command and select whichever photos you want to select. Okay. Once you've selected the photos that you want, you can pre, by the way, you can preview a thumbnail of the photo right here, or you can have already gone through them in Finder and select the ones you want, whatever works. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to randomly choose them. You select a few photos, holding command, then click Review for Import. When you click Review for Import, you're going to see that your device with your folder is shown up. It's going to show you the pictures you want to import. Assuming that these are all good to go, you select them. Or if you don't want all of them, you're like, oh, those are pretty much the same. Let's deselect that one. Then that's what you do. All right. Then you can either click Import All New Photos or Import the Selected Ones. That way, if you found that there's some you didn't want, you can import them. And you can also choose where you want to import them. This is important for keeping organized, okay? I recommend that you import them into a new album. And the reason I recommend you create a new album is because when I make slideshows, I always put them in albums anyways because I find that the easiest way to make slideshows. I'm going to put a link right here in the top right corner right now to a link on how to make slideshows. Um, a couple videos. I'll do one link now and then in a few seconds I'll do another one. But a link to a couple videos I've created slideshows with photos and it's easier if you put them in an album. So I would import them, import to new album or an existing album if you already got one and name it appropriately. Then click import the selected or import all depending on what you want to do. And that's going to import my photos into my family pics folder that I just created. And now you'll see I've got this photo album here. I can then go make my slideshow or I can edit my photos or whatever I want to do. But folks, that is how you get your photos from one folder or from a device into photos so that you can edit them, make a slideshow, tag people, whatever you want to do. But that's how you get them there. Hope that helps. That was an answer to a question about how to get photos from a wedding into photos, and I hope that helps. All right, that's it for this video on how to import your pictures into the Photos app on your Mac so that you can edit them and make slideshows. I hope that was helpful. Again, please like this video. It makes it worth it for me. Please share it. Please comment, even if the comments is just high. Um, but please comment because that helps me get more views, which I appreciate. And also comment any other questions you have 
I'll either send you to one of my other videos or I'll create a new one if I don't have one that explains it. And check out these other videos about how to edit videos and such, and they might help you out. All right, have a great day. Talk to you next time. Whoa.